we are giving the state security service, particularly its director general, 48 hours and not an hour more within which to fully obey and comply with the release order of the court in favor of all the 12 detained actions of Chisunde Igbo. Or face contempt proceedings before a court of competent jurisdiction with full weight and recompense of court brought to bear against its insolence and disregard of court order. Take notice that we will not fail to exhaust all legal and social remedy available to the detainees in enforcing their rights in this matter, setting the tone against the SSS notorious disregard of due process and rule of law. Gentlemen of the press, it has become apparent that the SSS has developed a very terrible psychology of disrespecting the laws of the land, disregard for the constitution, disrespect for the courts, and this is an affront on our judicial system, this is an affront on the democratic system we believe to practice, and this is an affront on the nation itself. In view of this, we have communicated to all social forces and we are calling on all Nigerians, we are calling on all the international communities to understand that we are currently under a government that has been hijacked by spinless entities whose intention is to torture, oppress, suppress Nigerians. And we shall take this no more. These people were unlawfully arrested and detained by DSS. We approached the court and the court granted them bail under the law. The court granted them bail on conditions and the conditions have been met. This also has been communicated to the state security service. But because of their arrogance, because of their utter disrespect for our law, they have refused to release all the detainees. The detainees have remained in a very bad situation, under torture on daily basis, sleeping on the floor. We are tired of this. In every democracy, it is very important that the constitution is supreme. The constitution is above every citizen. The constitution is above every government and our position. TSS must come to recognize in a constitutional democracy. But as I speak to you, uh, the release warrant has been served on the uh, the release warrant has been served on the DSS. As at Monday this week, we have perfected all the bail conditions and my lord has signed the release warrant. So what we expect, what is SSS still doing from Monday to Friday that you cannot release these people? And what kind of administrative procedure are they going through that they cannot release them Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and this is Friday? This country cannot continue like this. Can you permit the, some of my colleagues to speak? I don't know. Please change the mic. Move the mic. Move the mic. Our demand is very simple. That the DSS must obey the court order and they must release these people. Because in the eyes of the law, having gotten their release order by the court, they are now a free man in the eyes of the law who is entitled to the benefits of the constitution particularly with respect to their neighbors. And that cannot be joked The DHS has the responsibility to respect the rule of law and the order of the court, and that must be protected by all. Whether there is an appeal or not, there is a subsequent order of the court, which is bound to do it. So until DHS actually comply with the order of the court, as a matter of fact, if you are in the breach of the order of the court, you have no right to have audience before that court. We are here to inform Nigerians that by the special grace of God that the DG DSS may be a candidate for Kuje by next week if these people are not released. And we are not joking about this matter because the laws are very clear. We are even willing to test the law. We understand that we've been hearing information from some people that we will have problems serving the DG DSS and we've mapped out our plan. But we will also appeal to the SSS in the interest of justice in the interest of liberty of these people who have been unjustly detained in their facility and in their own interest too, to release these people peacefully so that they can reunite with their families. These people are innocent, these people have no crime on their head, these people have no criminal record 
and the DSSS also has not been able to even mention a single offense against them in court. And that is why we are demanding for their liberty. That's why we are demanding for their freedom. And it is also important to inform us that this affects every citizen of Nigeria. Today it is 12 8th of Sunday Bowl. Tomorrow it can be another person. It was a news yesterday that there was an attempt to there was an attempt to trample on um, on one of the very important TV stations in this country because uh, we have a government that is deliberately angry about freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and these are things that we are worried about. And that is the reason we we'll call on Nigerians, we we'll call on the entire world to ensure that this matter is not taken lightly. And be that as it may, the question and the issue before us right now is that there is a subsisting court order. I mean, if there's a subsisting court order, you cannot take that away. Regardless of the fact that the DSS is claiming that some people have instituted a matter, we are not aware of that matter. But what we are saying is that there is a subsisting court order, and that order is an order of release, and DSS is bound to respect it, and that is our demand. Thank you.